Finally we're in Africa, it's taken us a week to get here. Um, we're in Rabat in Morocco um, after a flight from Jerez in Andalusia in southern Spain um, and it feels great to finally be here um, and to be here safely. So well first of all my name is Sana Abaka. Uh, I'm a trainee in obstetrics and gynaecology at this maternity hospital of Rabat in Morocco and uh, it's the third level uh, maternity hospital with approximately 16,000 deliv deliveries a year. So women come from uh, different parts of Rabat as well as uh, surrounding areas and rural areas that are uh, neighboring this capital city. Great, and how many um, obstetricians do you have in the hospital? How many obstetricians? Well actually we have uh, two main departments of obstetrics and gynaecology and in every department you can find approximately 40 obstetricians. 40 obstetricians? Yeah. And how long does it take to become an obstetrician in Morocco? How many years is your training? Approximately five years. Five years. Do any of your doctors travel overseas to get some specialist training? Yes, of course. Many people, many doctors go actually to France and Belgium because we are a French-speaking country. So most people go to France, Belgium, sometimes Switzerland and uh, Quebec. And do people ever go to the UK, for example? Well, to be honest, uh, I've never come across anybody that went to the UK for the training. And do you think that the, the barrier is the language barrier or is it a cultural yes, barrier? No, it's definitely a language barrier. And do you think that's something that we should perhaps encourage in the future? Yes, sure, because I know that uh, there are many sponsorship schemes uh, with the different parts of, uh, of Africa, for example, Egypt, Sudan. But since Morocco is not um, an English-speaking country, so people tend to, to go to France, as I said. What are the main problems you see in terms of obstetric problems among your patients? Well, um, the, the first and biggest problem is, of course, um, uh, PPH postpartum hemorrhage and hypertension and hypertension, hypertension in pregnancy yes okay. preeclampsia eclampsia and uh, abrupt short placenta these are the main problems and have you got the resources here to deal with that well or is it tricky sometimes well this maternity hospital is a third level as i said before so yes we, ha we are well equipped in here and we have uh, a department of um, resuscitation maternal resuscitation